Hey, so to walk us through this day just a little bit is uh, Father James Serby. How about you give him a hand? I want to welcome all of you here tonight. My name is Father James Serby, and as a priest of the Diocese of Arlington, I welcome you to our great diocese and here to our nation's capital. Those of you who are visiting from far away, as far away as places like Nebraska and Michigan and Mississippi and Atlanta, Philadelphia, Boston, and all places in between. I am also the chaplain here at George Mason University, and the Catholic Patriots of George Mason University welcome you, all of you today, our Catholic Patriots. You know, we come here every year to celebrate a mystery. And there's a lot of people in the world who don't understand mystery. They want to know facts. They want to know everything. They want to control it. But you and I are here to celebrate a mystery. And that mystery, rooted in Jesus Christ, rooted in God's love, is that life is very, very good. Now, where do, how do we know that? Where, where do we get that? Where does that come from? Well, it comes right from that first book of the Bible. It comes right from Genesis itself. God goes and he makes the whole world. He makes it completely out of love because love overflows from itself. Love wants to give. Love wants to pour out. Love wants to serve. And so he makes the simplest things, the stones and the sky and the waters, and he makes a little more complicated things, the plants and the sea creatures and the animals. But then out of great love, God wants to give the world an image of himself. And so he creates woman and man. He creates them in, out, of, out of a deep personal love. And in that, he looked at all of creation, he looked at all the things he made, and he constantly, day by day, he said, this is good, this is good, this is good. But when he made man and woman, he said, this is very good. They are very good. And so today, we celebrate the creation of humanity. Not just the creation of humanity millennia ago, the creation of humanity now. This morning I received a text message that one of our focus missionaries who was married last year just gave birth to a new baby boy. How awesome is that? And as the chaplain here, I am so excited that my students get to see a beautiful, wonderful married couple and their newborn infant every day so that they, as they learn in university, as they learn all of the different things they're learning, will learn the most important lesson. It is a lesson that you and I will march to our nation's capital today to proclaim to the world unapologetically that life is sacred, life is beautiful, life is very good, and it has been put into our hands to care for and to love to embrace, to nourish and nurture. And today, you become a witness to that. And you might wonder, you might say, you know, I mean, who am I? Who am I? I'm, I'm a high school student, I'm a university student. Who am I? I'm, I'm a parent, I'm a... I mean, what's one person gonna do? How does one person make a difference in all of this? Perhaps you've been to the pro-life march many times, you've marched to Washington, you've come to this, and you, you said, well, does it make a difference? But I want to tell you that one person, when they do what God wants them to do, can do amazing things. And I want to prove it to you. Ten years ago, in a gymnasium at Holy Spirit Catholic Church in Annandale, right down the block, there they are. Ten years ago, a young woman had a dream, a young youth minister. And she wanted to gather high school students from around our area and pray for life and proclaim that it was very good. And that 
50 students that gathered into a high school or into a parish gym now has become over 6,000 of you that are here today. And so I know I'm going to hear about it, but I would like to ask Christine Najarian, that youth minister, to come up onto this stage with the young performer that sang songs that day, Steve Angrisano, who is here with us today. <laughs> it is so good to be with these two again, to be able to proclaim that life is very good. Let me hear you thank Christine and Steve for that, what happened 10 years ago. Small things, small little actions, inviting somebody to come with you to the pro-life march, inviting a friend to go to a parish youth group thing, to be able to just pray with somebody, even though it's awkward. Praying with people is awkward. When we live in a secular society, you're not supposed to talk about religion and things like that, so it's awkward. Let's be awkward. We're all weird. Aren't we weird? There may be a couple of cool people right now who are like, oh, I'm not, I'm not, these people are so weird. Be weird with us today. Half a million people are going to march on the Mall of Washington, D.C. in the middle of the freezing cold as they do every year to be weird and strange in a culture that doesn't get it. And you get it. And so will they someday because we're going to embrace them with life and love and happiness and joy, right? <laughs> 